All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add this clock indicator that I have on my charts onto your MT4 and onto your charts. Um, I'm keeping an eye on what's going on here as well. This is uh, AUDCHF. I've just launched my MT4. Um, before I show you how to add this, um, I want you to take notice of what's going on here. When you see markets uh, spiking up, um, or, or trending up or down. Uh, I like to trend put. I like to sorry trade puts. So I tend to look more for setups that happen around the puts area. See how this is jumping around too much. So I wouldn't consider trading this at this present moment. But what I like to see is when a market is trending up and you've got this sort of behavior happening. Um, Doji's uh, starting to happen, uh, especially if uh, something like this was to happen where you've got the market trending up and then you've got um, candle sizes decreasing, you've got little dojis happening and also at times when the market is um, unsure of which direction it wants to go in, but it will give you an indication of who's in charge. So in this case, the bears are in charge. Now, uh, what I've been doing, playing around with uh, pivot point uh, reversal bar strategy with just a one minute chart, um, doing two minute trades. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at doing about 40 of them on demo and then 100 live ones so I can give you a better idea of what the um, in the money percentage rate is for that. I believe this is far easier than the EMA6 one. Um, so I'm gonna share with that with you uh, once I've got the, the live trades on 100 of them done. Uh, but just quickly, if, for those of you that uh, would like to play around with this, what you're looking for in this case, uh, you, you would like to have pivots, um, for example, pivots like this, uh, but it's not always necessary. If you know price action, if you know how to pick candle behavior, what I would do here is I'd wait for the, this to finish, I'd wait for this to finish, and then when I see this, the candle size diminishing, it's pulling away from the Bollinger Bands, I would possibly at the start of this here, uh, or even at the bo bottom of this candle, uh, do a two-minute put. Now, yes, this uh, it has gone up. It's a, it's a white candle, a green candle in your case. Uh, but notice how this always comes down. Now, backtest that strategy. I find it that uh, probably about a, a good, if, if you're slightly picky with your trades, you'll, you'll pick up about nine out of 10 of those trades. Um, yes, you're not looking at doing 10 trades, but uh, three of them is extremely easy to find in any market condition, um, any time of day, any session. Uh, yesterday in the space of oh, less than two hours, I think, um, I, I was walking around um, my, my house, but I had my laptop on. Every time I came back, I was able to do one or two trades on that in a very short period of time. So I got 10 trades out of it in roughly... Uh, Time-wise, I'd say probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so, um, but it was over a two-hour span. Um, so anyway, that's later. I'll create a separate video for that once I've done my testing. Now on to this timer. Okay, so this is how you do it. For PC users, uh, first of all, uh, click on the link below this video. It's uh, from Google Drive. Click on it, download the uh, B clock modified indicator onto your desktop. This is what it's going to look like uh, here. So it's an EX4 file. All right. So once you've downloaded it, right click on it for PC users. Come on, right click. Okay, right click on it and then copy B clock modified. It'll, it'll be easier for you to drop it into your MT4 folder. So go back into your MT4. Click on the file drop down menu, scroll down into open data folder. And then double click on MQL4 folder, indicators folder, and then what you can do here again, uh, right click, paste. Okay, if you're not able to paste, you can just drag and drop into there. Uh, for those of you, if you've acquired templates or if I share a template in the future, uh, just know this same process applies. Instead of the MQL folder, this is only where you dropped your uh, indicators. Uh, but if you go back, notice how 
where in the same uh, page as the MQL folder you've got the access to the templates folder okay this is where you will drop the TPL file it's like either either copy and paste or drag and drop once you've done that get out of that uh, it's always a good idea to exit out of MT4 and then relaunch it um, it's just so the files will set it in, settle in properly um, some I've, I've had some instances where that hasn't been necessary but get into the habit of uh, getting out of MT4 and then uh, coming back into it okay once you've gotten out and you've relaunched MT4 then this is how you add it onto your charts click on view scroll down and click on navigator okay now on, on the left pane uh, navigator will open up scroll down to where you see B clock modified double click on that uh, you don't need to change any other settings on that so simply just click on OK uh, I've already got mine so I won't do that so click on OK and this will show up on your charts uh, what you then want to do is just to make sure that this shows up on all of your charts see this button here click on that click on save template okay I always save it um, as default um, so just type in default there save this is going to show up uh, because default already exists yes you want to replace it okay so anytime uh, you launch a new currency pair default will automatically put on the template that you're looking for um, and if you've got other currency pairs open and you'd like to um, reopen this then you'll just jump on to say for instance gold click on that chart uh, click on this button again and just click on default and that template will reopen onto it okay now that's it for Mac users the process is slightly different so you'd go on to um, finder applications MT4 okay click on control and then the, the pad show package contents drive C program files now I downloaded my MT4 for Mac from uh, Vantage FX um, so click on whatever program file is for you wherever you downloaded it from uh, and then the same process applies so click on MQL4 folder click on indicators folder and then in this case just simply drag and drop into this okay exit out of it and then relaunch MT4 uh, go into view navigator and same process applies double click on it and uh, that should show up on your charts all right all the best